So what, what's the reading for today? So we're at Nehemiah 7. The following came up from the towns of Tel Mela and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's telling about the Israelis that assembled after the repairs on the wall were completed. We did the repairs the other day, yeah, mm -hmm. I remember that, okay. And then we've got uh, Corinth Corinthians 9, am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Yeah. Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? So who's that? That's, who, that's Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. But anyway, it says, am I not free? I mean, who, uh, who's speaking that? Paul, that would be Paul speaking. Okay. And then we have Psalm 33. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Would you say, would that be true of our nation? Well, I guess that's true for all nations if you really follow. I mean, they say blessed is Bless. the nation that who's follows. God, whose God is the Lord. Whose yeah. God is the Lord. But, you know, yeah. then you have to define law, nation, and all the rest of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Some people think they're nations within, you know, it's all kinds of complicated like that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, definitions are very important. Oh, yeah. You know, how you define them. And finally, uh, I like your, I like your shield. It looks nice. Yeah. yeah. I told you, I have to, I got to find it. We rushed out this morning because I'm not, to, I, I, I have enough, I have some other shields, you know what I mean? So I want to bring you a shield. Oh, you, you know, know what I mean? Bring you a shield. Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, very thoughtful. Very okay. thoughtful. Okay. I think I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it, it helps when you go into stores and stuff yeah. like that because yeah. I still have the mask. Because you know, if I say mask, they're not going to understand shield. Yeah. But the but the shield helps you, like uh, you know, for your eyes. Mm -hmm. They say I can understand. They say the pathways in the body is the mouth, the nose, and actually even the eyes. Yeah. So, so I think well, that's what they, that's what they say the shield is. I don't. Would, would a shield be uh, satisfactory as a, a to substitute for a mask? I I now, I tend to think not. Mm -hmm. Not the not a total substitution like for instance if you're just going around in this in the you know just going around it would be all right but if you go into a store you have the shield and that would be good no it's long nobody say anything then you could put the mask on now yeah, I don't know, before yeah. last time i saw you now i went to the dentist and they have these nice shields that go up and down or whatever have you but yes. they still wear masks mm -hmm. so i'm thinking if they're wearing shields and masks then you know i think the okay let me understand i think the mask is to is to so people can understand that you're you're not being discourteous to them, you know, by putting stuff out there to them, right? Yes. But the shield is to protect you from 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 things. You mm -hmm. know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think I, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't. So I you think maybe um, maybe if I had a shield, I could I could wear a shield into the store, and then if someone asks, then just put, put on, on a mask. Then, 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 then put on your mask. You can still leave the shield on. Like I said, I think. Look, I don't know. I, I, I guess I should, should just jump on the modern world, jump on the internet. I, but it seems to me logically, the shield is to protect you from something that's coming to you, but the mask is to protect yeah. other people from going out. See, because I think it's pretty dumb to wear a mask because you all the time because you're continually sucking in your own carbon dioxide. You, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. I know so exactly that, what you so mean. That's so that don't why, that doesn't make too much sense to me. I don't want to wear one, but I. I don't like wearing them, but I understand the reason for wearing them when you can't social distance and when you have to be inside. Exactly. But what I don't understand is is people that wear them outside in the open. That seems. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem. Uh, that, that doesn't make any yeah, sense. But, but, but we only at Corinthians. Don't we have something else to do? I, oh, I, yeah. I, we got the, the Psalm things, right? Yeah, yeah. we did. Uh, we talked about that. Psalm 33. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Oh, that's okay. Lord, yeah. Sorry, we did that one. Okay. And finally, Proverbs. Uh, when the mocker is punished, the simple gain wisdom. When the wise man is instructed, he gets knowledge. Oh, wait a second. I like that one. Can I read that? Can I Can I see that sure. one? Can I see that one? That's just up there right yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, the mocker means somebody who mocks, who who, who, who keeps on criticizing, whatever. Mo yeah. the mo who puts people down. Yes, exactly. So it's somebody who puts somebody down, if they're punished, uh, when the when the mark when the month is okay, when the market is punished okay the simple gain wisdom yes, oh because they see oh I understand somebody who's simple might be following the marker 
So they'll gain wisdom by seeing that the mock is put down. Yes. When the wise man is instructed, he gets knowledge. Uh, mm, I'm sort of, uh, the wise one take it. See, my thing is, my, I have a problem with that one. Really? With, with the wise man is instructed. Because, okay, like instructed, what do you, like instructed is like somebody telling you something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, if, if somebody, look, I try, look, try to tell my wife something. It's not going to work. You know what I mean? So, well, so, now, is, it, is your wife with you now? No, no, she's in South Africa. I can't go, remember, I can't go to South Africa. Oh. And she so can't come South, here. She's in South Africa. Oh, you know what I mean? You're looking forward to getting back to see her. Oh, again. So, so I'm looking forward to getting, I just, uh, South Africa is my current reality, you know. I'm, I've, well, you know, I've, you know, I've never, I've never had the pleasure of uh, visiting South Africa. That must be an interesting place. Oh, it's a big place. Yes, it depends on where you are. We live, we live in a village. You know, we live in a village. We live in a small town. We don't live in a big city. No, I, I met her in the big city in, in Cape Town years ago, 2009, whatever it was. So what, what country in South Africa? No, South Africa is the, that's the name of the country, but then oh. they have cities, right? You like, like here, you know what I mean? Okay. So, so like Cape Town is the, everybody knows Cape Town because it's the most whatever tourist city in the world, whatever, everybody wants to go there, right? Cape but that, Town, yeah. yeah. Now that's where they have... Is that right on the tip? Yeah, the Africa? southern, the southern, um, yeah, the southern tip. If you want the, the Cape, really far out there. There's a famous thing out there, the Cape Point, where mm -hmm. the breeze. In fact, it was the last one settled because, uh, you know, when the, when the colonialists came, you know, when the people came, you know, uh, then what happened was they couldn't stay there because the wind stuff like would blow it around. That's where Table Mountain is. The wind that come down from that Table Mountain, oh, it'll blow you away. It will li literally, it, a wind comes down to Cape Town, what do you call it, Main Road or something like that? Yeah. I've seen people, I've, li I've been there with people, you have, to, you have to bend over, walk like that, of glasses falling out windows, that wow. wind, that wind don't, that wind don't, don't wow. play, that wow. wind don't play. But anyways, we live in a, we live in a, we live in a, in a, in a, in a place called Alice, it's a rule, you know, we, play, we actually be living in a Lembete, in a little village, I guess you'd call it, I don't know. And then my, my, my people, my people, the people I work with is a place called Dimbaza, which is another, another town of our villages. But anyway, but, but, but the reason why I'm saying that is because instructing, it's almost like saying that could be somebody's telling you something. Well, as yeah. you know, you know, they, they can, I guess it depends on what you mean by instruction. If you see something, that's instructive too. And then you take yeah. it in yourself and you interpret it. But yes. if somebody's yeah. going to tell you something and force you something, that's not going to work. You well, know? instruction doesn't necessarily mean force. No, it means that maybe it means explain. Yeah, it could mean explain. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I got that. Okay, yeah. I got that. I got that. Well, no, oh, wait a second. Now, since I saw you last, no, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what what was happening there. Yeah. Because that's that's when uh, the uh, that's when uh, 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 the guy, the, the Biden guy, that's when he he, he just said that he was gonna. Yeah, they they said that he named. Uh, the, the 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 Indian the Indian uh, woman there uh, as his vice president, yeah. right? Yeah. That, but I didn't hear Kamala. nothing. Yeah, Kamala, right? Kamala. I didn't hear anything. Uh, you know, the, the, but I didn't hear anything. And but that then when I left you, whenever it was, then I heard them talk. Yeah. Well, I, you know, like they, they they do NPR where I am, so I heard them. I heard the speeches, right, like that. Yeah. Now it's interesting to me because I seem to remember. This is where you can help me out. I seem to remember you said something like. That Mr. Trump, you know, this guy, but, oh, look at that you got, oh, look, he's smiling. Can I, can I, wait, 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 show this sure. for the camera. Back in 2016. <laughs> handsome guy. Yeah. The handsome guy. Yeah, he's Donald happy. Trump, 2016. Yeah, oh, sorry, 2016, not that long ago. Yeah. So anyway, but you said that he, it was like law and order. You know what I mean? He's uh, yeah. one of the things, he, uh, aside from being a businessman, is law and order. Well, now... Now, this is intriguing. Now I'm going to have to sort of pay attention to these politics things. Because like I said, I live in South Africa, so I'm not really too interested. But now it's got to be here. I'm going to vote in November. But I have to be here because I can't go. Okay. You're going to vote. Wonderful. Good. Yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to vote. I'm a, even when I'm in South Africa, I do an absentee ballot. Very good. You know what I mean? Very good. But um, well, here's the thing. Now, Joe Biden, he, when he first got here, you know, got in the government there, he did a whole lot of laws that made, you know, that, that, that you know made more jails and you know made made more laws to put people in jail and stuff like that. And yes, that's, that's, the, that's right. I, I, this is at least what I hear that he made 
he made more laws to put people in jail, exactly. And now he's going to have to, uh, I think that'll probably be brought up to him during the uh, campaign. What was that all about? Well, uh, that's what I mean, you know. We could find that out, but that's not the thing, okay? And then, you know, he's going along and whatever whatever he did, right? But that's a, that was a long thing because he even did it, what we call, in, in the black community, we call he was slick about it because he's trying, he was trying to say, well, no, 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 I just did this or whatever. And, but what he did is he let the states have more money so the states could put little law stuff in, you know what I mean? The state, yeah. there was, he could say, oh, no, the states did that. I didn't do that, you know. So that's oh. what he took. That's, that, that's my understanding, right? I see. Well, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, he'll probably be asked about that at some point during the campaign, if he can remember it. But the, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, I mean, it's pretty funny to, when, he, when, when he goes and say. But here's the other thing. When he was hanging out with Barack Obama as his vice president, now Barack Obama and them, that's the one, remember, they, they were, everybody was in Afghanistan where they were into it, and they were taking people out of Afghanistan. But that military equipment, they're the ones that let that military equipment come to all the cities here in the United States. So when you see the police now with all that military equipment, because remember, the police, when we was going, the police didn't have no military equipment like that tank, a tank in a small town, come on, mm -hmm. you know. So, so he's responsible for getting all that military equipment into the, into the cities, okay? So that's one thing. But here's the kicker. I mean, this is what I want to ask you about, right? The, uh, the Kamala Harris woman, the Senator Kamala Harris, yes. she's noted for being the, now was it district attorney or uh, uh, attorney general? Whatever, the big cop in, in, in California. That's yeah, her thing. She was she the was, big cop. Was she attorney general? What a, for the whole state. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, sure of that. First she started. I know as, she's district attorney, but maybe maybe but, they call it attorney general for the I think it was district attorney state. when she was San Francisco. Okay. You know? okay. And she did a whole lot of putting black people in jail and all the rest of that stuff and putting women in jail because of truancy, all kind of weird stuff. But well, anyway. I heard, I don't know the, the, the veracity of this, but I heard that she... She put people in jail for, um, for using think. marijuana, for using marijuana, or um, selling it, smoking it, whatever. And then oh, everybody she, was doing that. She, uh, she laughed about doing it herself. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, it, it seems to me... You know, the, the penalty needs to fit the crime. I well, mean, uh, uh, marijuana, marijuana infraction, to me, should not deserve a, uh, a long jail term. That yeah, just doesn't true. make sense. Yeah. But something like uh, murder, rape, uh, uh, arson, yeah, these are serious crimes. That's and they, right. they, they need to be, there has to be a punishment, <laughs> I, I, I believe, um, yeah, the punishment has to fit the crime. That's where I believe in... Uh, in law and order, and someone to someone has to enforce the law and order, and I would think the attorney general or, or a district attorney would be one to do it. Well, well, but it's easier to along find, with the police. But for them, it was easier, I guess, to beat up on little people. You know what I mean? Because the big people, when they were taking the cocaine and all this stuff, they didn't bother them at all. Oh you know? yeah, the so, little people are always easier to. Well, like the thing is, uh, people say, uh, you know. The, big cry of the extreme left is to defund the police. Well, who's that going to hurt? That hurts the black communities and the poor communities in the city. They're the ones that need police protection, and uh, they are uh, they're hurting without it. Well, I'm they, not. They, you know, the, the, the limousine liberals don't need it. They have their own, you know, they've got their own, uh, they live in uh, what you might call safe communities. They put, they put, uh, walls and gates around their house. They might even have their own security force, so they don't even, they're not affected by it at all. But the, the people that are in, in the cities, uh, they are affected by it. Yeah, well, I, can't, I can't speak for them because I'm not in the city, you no, know what I mean? Well, I'm I in New York, I'm in a mm -hmm. safe day, I'm in, I'm in Harlem, but where I am, the police don't be doing that kind of thing. Well, I tell you what, I'm so. thankful that when out here, we have a, we have a little police force, and uh, when I call, if my wife or I need to call 911, we can expect uh, in a few mm -hmm. few minutes to get some help. Mm -hmm. Now, what people that can't do that? They're they're just left to fend for themselves. Well, I think it's more it's more complicated because I was talking to somebody a little bit about that, and they were saying the problem is the police that police the people in these cities don't live in those areas, so they come in like like again with the occupying troops, yeah. with the, with that military thing. 
But I don't want to talk about. I want to get That's back to another Kamala. issue. But yeah, an wanna, interesting woman. Go, go ahead. I want to get back to Kamala Harris. This woman here. Okay. Right? Let's talk about. So that, let's talk about uh, Kamala. Because because what happens is that now you have Joe Biden, Mr. Law and Order, who who put laws in to make order that, you know, that's messed up because that's the whole war on drugs, I think. <laughs> then you have this woman that's putting stuff in jail. So now you have a double barrel shotgun of law and order. Now, how is Mr. Trump going to deal with that? Because he's supposed to be Mr. Law and Order, but these folks are even more law and order than he is. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think uh, we'll have to see uh, what they say. We'll have to see what they say and uh, see where they want to go with it. But I've heard that uh, in many, in her positions, um, Kamala is uh, extremely to uh, to the left, uh, what I would call the left about, uh, you know, more socialist in her concepts. Well, I don't know about that. Everybody keep on making those things. I don't do. I don't deal with that. Socialist, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, if he was socialist, she not socialist because they say Medicare for all is socialist. I'm I'm a part of the socialist system. I'm in the VA. That's socialist. The VA is socialist. I get no. I get free medicine. I get free glasses. Oh, wait a minute, though. You, you, you served in the military, Yeah, that's correct? right. So you, these are benefits that you get. That's not socialist. That's the system set up to help you. Yeah, but it's a, but I'm trying. But socialism means you're getting stuff from the state. Well, Even if I served, yeah, I'm I just think, getting stuff from I the think, state. I think we all get something from the state. I mean, yeah, the state gives some help to everyone, but, uh, but we're not the, uh, we certainly don't want to be wards of the state, nor do we want to be a... Uh, a nanny state to the point that uh, all our freedoms are are taken from us. Like, uh, but isn't that the point? I mean, what Social Security is socialism? It's, it's in the name, Social Security. It's socialism, Social Security, right? Yeah, to an extent, it to an extent it is, but it's a program that uh, that has uh, has has worked, and uh, I think that most pe most people are uh, happy about uh, the Social Security system. The people that benefit from it in general have paid into it. No, yeah, yeah, I'm just, that's that's the same yeah, thing. With, yeah. Like I said, with the VA, I paid into the VA by serving. Absolutely, for seven. So you paid, you paid uh, on, so, the, on, the, on the front line of uh, defense. So my my point is really that, but it's, it's still, not like it's still, it's still, for nothing. That's right. But see, social look, I don't know what look. Let me get back to Mr. Ms. Hyde. I don't know what the social media right now. Right. I'm talking about how because if, if Mr. Trump right now he's sending Come people, on. but Mr. Trump is sending troops into cities. And and, 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 and and being extreme with law and order that way, but those troops are, 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 are trying to uh, protect uh, uh, courthouses and stuff like yeah. that and shooting people. Now, she's going to go around there, him and her, her and Biden going to go shooting people. Who's not going to shoot the people, as I'm asking? There's nobody up there that, that wrote, <laughs> that's not going to be shooting on the people. That's, I'm just asking. I'm just, this is what I'm saying. I'm, how is he going to well, deal with people that's going to well, shoot you know, more if, than he shoot? Here's my thought. If you... If you um, <laughs> Let's say you you uh, take away uh, take away the police, defund the police. What are you left with? What you're left with is no, no, no. Hold on a second. Did we not add that? We, but Kamala Harris and Joe Biden not defunding the police. They they know where they're going to defund the police. Mr. Trump not defund. That's what we say. I don't even say defund the police. Okay. I say disarm the police or 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 or, or, or take some of them tanks and. Or, or, the, or them, what it, the tear gas and all that okay. they use in other countries away. So I say disarm. I don't say disarm, disarm. But you're not completely. But disarm the police. That's what I would say. I'm not saying defund them. Okay. Okay. Disarm them. Okay. But yeah. I think uh, it'll be interesting to see what they say. You mean you think that they're going to come out? Uh, you in your in your view, they're going to come out for law and order also? Are they? No, but they have. That's what I'm trying to say. That's their record. It's not what oh. they're going to come out for. Biden made all those laws. The, 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 oh, the, 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 and, and, and the, the prison and stuff like that. He hasn't made much improvement. I mean, what has he done in his, what has he accomplished in his 46 years now, in well, the government? Well, he's accomplished by making them prison stuff like that. And even Kamala Harris, she made a thing so so that the the, the, the children, if they were truant, then the, the mothers, you know, the parents would be locked up, right? And uh. then, let me try to understand, and then... If the kid had to go to school in such a bad school system, and the way all things have, then the kid might have to go to to, to what they call the prison, what's it, the the prison to jail pipeline is a direct thing yeah, where you know yeah. like that. So either way, she putting people in. I'm trying to say both of them are putting people in jail and beating up on people. And I'm just asking, how is Mr. Trump going to deal with these people who are basically saying, oh, we could be more law and order than you? Is what I'm hearing. That's well, all I'm saying. Well, if they, if they, uh, 
if they say that, I will be surprised. But I want to, uh, I want to hear it. I want to hear oh, what okay. they say, and I want to hear what, uh, I want to hear what, what President Trump says. I like his, um, you know, the, the parents being punished for the truancy of the children. I mean, these these are these are many and different issues. Yeah, but I think, uh, uh, yep, I think that we need to. Uh, we have, of course, our Bill of Rights. We have our Second Amendment, right to defend ourselves, and we have um, we have police forces that we pay for. Mm -hmm. People say, you know, well, for me to say I can call 911, they say, well, that's that's a privileged thing to do. Privileged? Well, I feel like we're paying for it. We pay well, for it true. with our taxes. Uh, I'm, I, that's that's true. Let let me give you a better idea about okay. the police. Maybe, I, I'm, maybe I'm going off on the wrong, well, uh, the well, wrong I don't topic. Know. You know, you, 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 as they say, you're a grown man. You can go wherever you want to go. You know what I mean? That is, you like that. Well, I, uh, I want to uh, hear what you have to say. No, but here, let me give you an example of what I mean by, by the police, right? Okay. Okay, just when I was, I was in New York when this, this thing hit with the COVID thing, right? Because yeah. I was trying to get, well, I was, yeah. I was about to go by to South Africa. Then, <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. I was in New York. And when it hit, they were saying, oh, you got to wear a mask, right? Now, what was happening... And I was up, like I said, up, I was up in Harlem, a place called, um, I, I was walking through a place called Marcus Garvey Park. Right, like, like 124th Street and like Madison Avenue, 5th Avenue, that, that area over there, right?